Get your freshly baked muffins here! Oh, me? You seem a bit troubled. Yes, it's true, I am, but I don't know that it's something I'd feel comfortable discussing with a stranger. Fine, I wouldn't want to force you to talk. My, oh... You are a rather frank one, aren't you, miss? It's not that I've been sworn to silence or anything. Quite the opposite. I feel like I've got to tell someone. Let me start from the beginning. I am Aramaya, one of the blessed members of the Order tasked with looking after Lady Vanil. Did you say Vanille? Yes, our Lady Vanille, the one and only holy saint who has been gifted with the mysterious ability to hear the cries of the dead that are carried on the winds of chaos. Vanil, the saint? Yes, well the fact is that the Holy One is particularly attached to one particular belonging, a small stone that she always carries. I'm guessing it's no regular piece of rock. You're quite right. It seems like something very special. It reflects the light with a rainbow iridescent. But several days ago, that very stone was stolen by some reprehensible thief. Ever since its disappearance, the poor saint has hardly said a word. She's completely withdrawn. She can't find the thief? Find the thief? The holy saint? She cannot leave the cathedral. It is completely out of the question. I see. So you keep your precious saint locked up like some sort of criminal or animal. You say too much. Well, the, the only reason the saint is kept within the cathedral... She can't be trusted with herself? <sighs> yes, that's it, exactly. If what you say is true and she never leaves the cathedral, then only other Order members could have gotten to her. You, you're suggesting that a member of the Order stole the saint's precious belonging? You could not be more wrong. It's impossible. Then you admit others into the cathedral to see your saint? Their... their staff... There's an exception. I, I wish I could... The warehouse district, huh? I don't know how far I'll get... Oh, you are far too kind. Just can't decide. The saint must be protected at all costs. Step right up. Get the freshest goods straight from the wildlands. How about it? Step right up. Thanks as always. If you need a room, please visit our hotel. Magic. That's right. It'll cure. Have your sights on any... Come back any time. The day is not... Dare to fire. 
What's the story with the box? Well, it was given to us by a cust. Why don't you just give it back? Well, that's where things... One of our new lads handled the package. Said some bigwig from the cathedral. From the cathedral, huh? Let me get... How'd you know that? The new lad was delivering packages to the saint's quarters when he met this person. Never even got there. We've really stuck our foot in it now. The or I may be a... I'm looking for something that was taken from the cathedral. I'll take full. I'd love to let you take a look, but I haven't been able to get it open. Um, Fine, I can handle it. Wait, what? Hold on, is serious? No, no. So it wasn't stolen by an outsider, but taken from within the Order. That's worrisome. Could there be someone within the Order with a grudge against Vanille? Maybe I should talk to that woman from the Order again, Aramaya. She might be able to answer some questions. Is this the stone that Vanille's missing? Oh, this rainbow sparkle, this sheen, yes, this is it exactly. The saint will be thrilled to have it back, I'm sure. I don't know how close you are with Vanille, but do you know why she cares so much about that particular stone? I do. The saint confided the truth to me when it appeared lost forever. She told me that this stone, this very stone, was held clutched in her hand when she awoke from her crystal stasis 13 years ago. She claims this stone holds a special power. Every once in a very rare while, it shows a glimpse of the precious family who is lost to her now. I can tell she cares for them with all her heart. Family? She... <gasps> oh my! Yes, it seems it was possible for the saint to sometimes get a glimpse... I can see why the stone meant so much to her. Tell Vanille I'm glad. Oh, I couldn't possibly give her that message. Huh? The holy saint herself has expressed it, and so I was asked to give... Hmm. I... This is a copy of the key that unlocks the service entrance to the cathedral. The saint has... The gates are locked. Then... Yes. <laughs> Just thinking that I might get to see the saint smile again fills my...
Knight has returned to the Divine City. I'd like to meet the beautiful woman. Everyone seems to be talking about us. Oh. Lightning? Long time no see, Vanille. You look well, and you haven't changed. You're just as I remember. <laughs> Me and everyone else. But you don't mean it like that, do you? Vanille, we'd fought together once a long time ago. We were comrades in arms in a battle against gods who toyed with human destiny. And at the end of that battle, she sacrificed herself. She turned into a great crystal pillar, rising from the Plains of Pulse, holding a world full of people safe in the sky. But then 13 years ago, she came back. <laughs> uh, you again? So, you two know each other. Oh, yes. We've been together ever since I woke up. Right. Thick as thieves. But Fang's not around. Well, we woke up at the same time, and we were together for a while. But she left. And you decided to stay behind under the protection of the Order? You must have a reason. Uh-huh. There's something I have to do. It has to be me. And it has to happen right here. <laughs> There's a lot of chaos swirling around in here. I'd have thought the Order's Cathedral at least would still be clear. Yes, yes, I know. It hurts terribly. I understand. But it won't be long now. You'll be free soon. Vanille, who are you talking to? What is this stuff? A wind of sorrow, the lament of the dead. Can't you hear their voices? Lost souls crying out in pain and suffering. You mean this wind is the dead? Yeah, they've been drawn here, one after another. All the people who died after the chaos poured through the gate. They've been swallowed by the chaos, and now they're trapped inside. I can feel it. All their sadness, all their grief, they're swelling around me. Every single cry feels like a dagger, right in my heart. <sighs> there must be so many millions of souls, and you feel all their pain? That can't be. Our world is being destroyed. There's no place for them to come back to. And there's no way for them to be reborn anymore. So they're caught in the chaos with their pain. They just can't escape it. The Order believes that the souls have to be saved from their sorrow. They say the only way to do that is to offer them oblivion. Fenil's job is to call them to her so that can happen. All of those souls at the same time? But Vanille, will you be able to handle all that? I don't have any choice. Besides, if she doesn't, can you guess what will happen? 
This wind has been building for years. Layers of souls, a black hole of pain. Try and imagine how much energy is inside. If it ever got out, all at once. It'd be the end of this world, and the future as well. Finally, I have you back. Did you run into a chaos infusion or something? Yeah, but don't worry about it. I'm fine. I'm glad to hear that. Oh, and Vanille was looking well. Don't you think so? Hope, is it me, or do you sound happy? Does someone have a little crush? What are you talking about, Light? Of course not. 